guys, it's Insane here and today I'm doing a speed build for an apartment in the fashion district. So uh, this is a two-story apartment and I make it into kind of like a loft apartment and I end up calling the apartment uh, the flea market apartment because I think like a lot of the items I put in the apartment is more like eclectic, they don't necessarily fit into one theme. So I imagine the sim living here probably bought it at the flea market in, is it in the spice district? I think the flea markets are. So yeah, I really like this apartment. It's kind of like my style. I'm more eclectic. I don't really have one theme in my house. Uh, so I wouldn't mind living here, to be honest. Uh, so here I'm just putting out the floor plan, putting down some floors and uh, we'll get to putting down some wallpapers very soon as well and underneath the second floor where you can see there I'm going to have the kitchen and the living area is going to be like under the ceiling in the first floor so yeah I really like this apartment it ends up being very eclectic like I said and I tried to make it a bit like funky and special so I'm just choosing out some wallpapers and I think I end up going for maybe this green gray one but I think maybe I also end up with going for a green one later as well I'm not sure we'll see it's uh like with a lot of my recent builds it's been a long time since I built it and I just got uh, the time to do the voiceover now because my boyfriend is away and when he's home it's really hard doing the voiceovers because we live in a really small house and yeah you can hear him clicking on his uh, keyboard <laughs> in the background if I do a voiceover when he's home because I just I, I feel like I can't like make him stop doing the things he wants to do just because I'm doing his uh, voiceover so I try to do it when he's away and if you guys have seen any of my other speed builds you know i think i told you guys that he's away like two two weeks at a time and uh, for work so i do get some time on my own to do these voiceovers and the speed builds and edits i can do when he's home so so here I'm just uh, putting down the kitchen counters. These are from Parenthood and I really love these counters. I use them a lot. Uh, I think the counters were <laughs> one of the main reasons I actually bought that pack. Um, because like a, like a lot of other builders, I really want more kitchen counters because I feel like I used, I used all of the kitchen counters already. They're like so used up. So I'm just putting down some shelves. I really like to put down both uh, cabinets and shelves in a kitchen uh, just so there's like room for uh, a little bit more decoration. I really like to decorate my builds with uh, clutter and items that just suits suits the kitchen or just like collector's items and stuff like that. So here I'm just taking out clutter items from for the kitchen and this uh, this flower rack I really like and uh, I think that's uh, actually an urn from vampires pack but I really like the flowers on it so I thought it would suit the build nicely and just uh, taking out a bit more clutter like the cookie jar and so now I'm just going to place it and um, I have to remember all of the other items as well, like a sink and a fridge. So here I'm like, oh, I forgot the fridge, so I need to put that in as well, um, which will come a little later. So I play tested this apartment and everything works as, as it should. And even though it's actually uh, in the end, it turns out quite um, not crowded or cramped, but it there's going to be a lot of furniture and stuff around in the apartment but the sims can get anywhere so everything works and yeah I'm quite happy with that so just 
putting in some ch cheats so I can get some more items. So this bottle I think is actually for the bartender when you go to the bar. So I just pretended in this bill that it's a bottle of olive oil. It actually really looks like a bottle of olive oil. So I think it sits really nicely uh, next to the stove. And just putting down some more fruit bowls and uh, these jars I actually sized down. They are, uh, I think they're like uh, alien on jars, which you can collect when you're like out uh, traveling in space and stuff. So I just uh, uh, took them from the debug menu and I sized them down and just placed them on top there. So if you size them down, they don't really look like dead aliens anymore, like the alien squid. And they look more like interesting things in a jar you maybe would have in a kitchen. So, um, just putting down some more clutter and uh, the sims I made for this apartment to test, she is a stylist, she still lives there and she's trying to become a stylist. Uh, I built this I think right after the update where we got stylist career and the manipulation tool but before get famous so I really wanted to test out that career uh, and I have gotten a bit further in that career so I've started like giving random sims makeovers and stuff like that so I'm just picking up more debug items and wanting to place them around and some of the items I'm like will they fit will they not fit so I just test out and try a, a couple of different things like this jar of macaroni is really for crafts with kids but it's macaroni and it's natural to have it in the kitchen so I thought it would be nice to put it in there and just some coffee bags and I think I end up putting a coffee maker underneath there as well and some coffee cups on the shelves there. I really like cluttering up with coffee cups and glasses and mugs and jars and stuff like that. It makes it look like someone actually lives there and it's just not a home taken out of catalog. Um, yeah, uh, I actually had some problem with these items that I think the sims use when they make coffee with the espresso machine. You can see it here, it didn't want to move this uh, uh, the item you put the coffee in. So I had to delete the counter and then the item would disappear. So I just decided I wouldn't use that item at all. Uh, so I'm trying, but it will not work. So I just, I just take them away. And here I'm just putting up some columns just to uh, make a more feeling of a room, kind of, so the wallpaper doesn't just cut off. And putting down some uh, night tables and some lights upstairs and I kind of forgot when I did this that there's a, <laughs> a terrace out there so I just uh, deleted the middle wall and I put, put a door there so it's possible to go uh, out uh, onto the terrace uh, and there's not going to be a lot of things on the terrace it's going to be uh, a hot tub and a seating area and that's about it and I really wish we could change stuff about the outdoor like outside walls but, but we can't so it doesn't really matter that much though and here I am going to put a painting corner because I really think that the sim living here is a creative soul. Um, maybe she's a painter, maybe he's a stylist, maybe maybe you want a woodworking table there instead, who knows. Um, and these curtains from Movie Hangout stuff, I really like how colorful they are and the pattern. It just, I love them. I would like curtains like that in my home. Uh, but I do end up changing them and going for a bit more like beige white color instead because I thought it would be too much in a bedroom 
I was trying to make it a bit more calm in the bedroom with the blue tones and just a bit more relaxing, you know. And I was trying to find a rug that would fit under the bed and not be too big but not be too small. Uh, so I end up with this one, which I think uh, really suits uh, nicely with uh, the curtains. And here I just put down a meditation pedestal and a yoga mat. And here I actually put three lights on top of each other, which I actually thought looked really cool together. Uh, it's those uh, rice paper lanterns. And we're on to the living room very soon, I think. Maybe I was not done cluttering up the living, no, the, the bedroom. So I just put down some more plants and make it look calm and serene in there. So here I'm just putting down some uh, a dining table and some dining chairs and I end up putting down different types of chairs because she probably, he or she probably bought these at the flea market so she, uh, she or he, the sims probably probably didn't find uh, four chairs that were alike so I kind of like that uh, the idea that it's different and uh, here I'm just placing down uh, this furniture we got from laundry day which has a bit of clutter inside it already which I quite like I think this is also from laundry day but I took it in a different color because I also imagine that when you find things on the flea market you might renovate it and paint it in a different color so this is a very like do-it-yourself apartment as well so and just placing down some couches again very different from each other and some suitcases which I tried to size down but I decided to just have it in the original size anyway and just trying to find a side table and I actually thought this side table would fit really nicely uh, in this corner because uh, it has rounded edges but it's really for kids so it has I think it has a toy car and some other toys in the shelf but oh well it doesn't really matter I mean, you're not going to look at it that much anyway so and putting down some rugs I really like the mixture of these rugs and uh, some more rugs. I really love rugs. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, and just a rug under the dining area and then I start cluttering up the side tables and the walls in the living area. And this arts and crafts kit I thought suited really nicely uh, on that shelf. Seeing as I think the sim that lives here is really artistic. Uh, so yeah. Um, I think I might end up putting something in that basket, but I don't remember exactly what. And here we just have a lot of flowers in this corner uh, because there's a lot of light, I imagine, coming in through those windows. So it would be a cool place to put some flowers. And I put these, I thought I put them on top of each other, but when I went in to take pictures, they were actually, uh, the top one was floating a little bit, so I deleted that one, so there's not one in the second store, or second floor, <laughs> store. <laughs> and just putting down some more clutter and just making it uh, look like someone lives there. So I was thinking of having like a table behind the couch chair but uh, I decided not to and then I was like this kid's table doesn't really suit what I want here so I end up changing it for that one instead so I could have these lights on it and uh, yeah uh, here I'm putting down some more lights and I actually really like this idea because this frame with light bulbs on it it doesn't really suit any mirror at all so I just decide to put a sti wall sticker in it. Uh, uh, I think I end up with this one because it has ice cream and I thought that was more food related for the kitchen. And I still have not remembered to put down the fridge, but it will, it will be there. Don't worry. And here I just size up this picture uh, or uh, painting we got with 
I think that was City Living we got that with. And uh, some more pictures and we're on to the bathroom. Which uh, is going to be very cluttered between the sinks. I put down two sinks actually, uh, even though I only imagine one sim living here. And these things I actually really really like. I think they're uh, really like inspired by IKEA. Uh, seeing as I live in Norway, we have a lot of IKEAs here. Uh, I guess you have IKEAs all over the world, but IKEA I think is like really Scandinavian type of interior. Uh, seeing as IKEA is Swedish, but they also have uh, designers from Norway and Denmark and. I think maybe Finland as well. So yeah, um, I wanted a tub in here, so I'm just trying to figure out where the best space for a tub is. I don't remember if I actually keep it, but uh, and then I just changed all of the colors. I didn't want this yellowish color anyway, so I went with the turquoise and some more darker colors. And here I am just cluttering these shelves like there's no tomorrow so I just pick out a lot of items from the debug uh, menu and from the regular buy menu and just all of the bottles I can find spray cans it doesn't really matter what they're actually meant for it's just it just looks good in the shelf because it's kind of like hidden a little bit underneath the shelf anyway so yeah and I think I end up cluttering like only three shelves and all of the other ones are empty. So you're free to put anything you'd like on those. Um, but yeah, um, I actually tried putting down this marshmallows to make it look like a box of Q-tips or something, but it ended up looking burnt when I placed it, which I thought was a bit funny. And here I'm just putting down some bottles from spa day trying to size them up but they wouldn't fit uh, between the shelves so I was like nah I'll just not do it anyway uh, and some more spray cans which I think is an item the sims use when they paint the mural I think maybe and some lip balm which is from the vintage glamour stuff pack when they have this uh, vanity uh, uh, this vanity table with the mirrors when they can do their own makeup. I think they also use this item when they do that. And a lofa and yeah just stuff that I think fits into a bathroom. Uh, and yeah I, it always takes a bit of time going through the debug menu because there's a lot of things there. So here yeah, we're done. And here's the living room. I really like it. It's colorful, eclectic. Yeah, I, I think that The Sims living here is really artistic soul who's, um, yeah, happy. And as you can see, I put in a fridge. Uh, here's the bedroom uh, from different angles. It's not as decorated upstairs as it is downstairs, but I really like it anyway. So here we have the outside area with the hot tub and the seating area. So that's it guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!